reaction we are going to look at here is dehydrogenation of alkane. Dehydrogenation of alkane. Remember, hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen, but dehydrogenation means removal of hydrogen. Now, if I have an alkane like this, CH3, CH3, this is ethane. If I remove two hydrogen atoms from here, that is minus H2, minus H2, I'm subtracting two H from here. If I remove two H from here, I'll remove one H from the first carbon, I'll remove the other H from the second carbon. So I'll have CH2, CH2. I remember, CH2, CH2 is like this. One, two, three, four. And because this carbon is having only three bonds around it, we'll put a double bond here in order to complete it four. The same thing applies to this. This is 18, this is ethane. So if two hydrogen atoms is removed from an alkane, you produce an alkene. This is an alkane. If I remove this H and remove this H, I will have a double bond here. And the compound will become alkene. We can actually rewrite it. In this alkane, it is CH3, single bond CH3. By the time you remove one H from here, I remove one H from here, you will have CH2, CH2. You will now have a double bond between the carbons. This is ethane, while this is ethene. So, Removal of two hydrogen atoms from an alkane produces an alkene. If I dehydrogenate ethane, I will get ethene. If I dehydrogenate propane, I will get propane, and so on and so forth.